Hi, welcome back to the MySQL 5.7 End of Option series. I'm Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for, for Percona. And Percona, we are the database folks. And this is a first in a series of videos on the upgrade checker. Uh, gives you details of what uh, that upgrade checker utility actually does. Uh, the MySQL shell has a utility. I shouldn't call it the new MySQL shell. It's been around since 8.0. Uh, it's an advanced client and code editor for MySQL. Has a lot more features in the old MySQL command line and has a lot of things that you're not going to find in MySQL Workbench. Now, the shell provides scripting capabilities for those who like to write scripts in JavaScript and Python. And if you haven't installed it, you'll need it to run this utility. Uh, you didn't get it with 5.7. So go out there and check on your command line prompt by typing MySQL SH. Uh, if you don't have it, please install it. And to access the utilities, you have to be in either the JavaScript or Python mode, not the SQL mode. Now, uh, you're going to type in util check for server upgrade, and it's going to go out there and check your server. It's not going to do the upgrade for you. It's just going to go out and, and tell you what it found that needs to be corrected before you restart with ADOs binaries to do the upgrade. So remember, you still have to run the upgrade. This does not do the upgrade for you. Now, if you're running it, you're going to either from like a bat from the MySQL shell itself, util check for server upgrade and give in your login information. Uh, and we're pointing here to the default port of 3306. Uh, if you want to run it from say like a bash shell, uh, this is the command you're going to use MySQL sh dash dash util check for server upgrade and then your login information. Now, it does 21 checks, and I know this is hard to read. We'll go into more details. Uh, the checks it's going to make is make sure that things have been upgraded. Uh, the old temporal data types, uh, where you didn't have microsections, need to be updated. Um, how different objects are using. If you're using the old UTF MB3 character set, everything's now optimized about MB4. Uh, there'll be more details in the follow on videos to this. Uh, the last one there, MaxDB, that's the old SAP project that MySQL had many, many years ago, back like 2006, 2007. Uh, partition tables, you get to use either NDB or InnoDB. Anything else you cannot partition with 8.0. Um, also, it's going to check to make sure that you're not using remove functions. Uh, group by changed a lot, so you're going to want to look into that. And the, the other checks are making sure that you're not using bad system variables, um, making sure that uh, tables that NOB thinks it's a run aren't actually want to run is not actually bind to another uh, storage engine. And last but not least, least, the new default authentication plugin considerations. Uh, we'll talk about all these in just a little more detail in just a moment. For those of you who are interested, uh, you can go to Google Classroom and take a quiz and win a certificate. Go to classroom.google.com. The class code is X-ray Delta 36 Violet Robert 4. And you'll end up with a lovely little certificate like this.